I told you yesterday, I just was hanging around all day. I was going through some uh, more boxes of old radio stuff. Stuff that was, was in, when I was living in Huntington, was just in the basement with floods and stuff. I'm lucky that I didn't, you know, lose a lot of that. Lose it, yeah. And then I threw it in my mom's house for a couple of years. So I'm, I'm, I'm discovering some crazy stuff. Stuff I hadn't looked at in 10, 12 years easy. Old stuff. And yeah. yesterday I posted on my Twitter account a picture of you and I hanging out with Green Day. Remember really? when Green Day was cool? Yeah. when they. Used I don't to... want to piss off the Green Day fans out there, but when they were like kind of rebels and really just going with the music before yeah. they went extremely mainstream. Mainstream, man. <laughs> I got a picture on uh, the Twitter account, OP Radio, if you want to follow me. And it's uh, me and Ant and the entire band hanging out. At AF, they, somebody noticed that the picture was taken in, in front of a Real Rock TV banner. <laughs> Look at uh, that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Holy mackerel. No one gives a crap that the picture's being taken. <laughs> yeah. What's his name? Uh, I forgot his name. He's on his knees in front of Anthony. Squeezing the uh, the wacky horn, making it look like it might be Anthony's uh, member. Yeah. What one, one guy? Uh, I can't even say what one guy said about that. Very funny line. He was instead of saying that's your you know what, he said no, that's actually one of Anthony's blank. Yes. You know. Yeah. yeah. See, I can't even like. Yeah. I can't even say it at I'm all. Watching your hand movements, I don't know what you're talking about. I, you know. I, I kind of knew the first one, but this one, you're like, you do like a little stretching motion. I'm like, oh. It's a little, you know, the, the wacky horn. So the bulb. Oh, oh, oh. No, he was saying one, uh, I'm just going to say it, pubic hair. Oh. Saying that's how g gigantic you are, that it's just one of those. Ew. <laughs> that would be disgusting. <laughs> I thought was funny. should have kneed him in his face. That was the day that... that Trey? Uh, yeah, Trey, thank you. Yeah. That, that was the day Green Day came in. What... Was smoking pot like crazy. Oh, there's your girl, by the way. There's Tiny Head. Yeah. Huh? There's Tiny Head. Tiny. Is that your girl? Uh, yeah. Yeah, we like her. her. She's all. She has. She looks like a giant ant. We like her though. Her it's hips the new traffic girl. She's awful. Are so wide. She's not awful. She's trying to wear a dress that hides it. She got very wide hips, and she's got a little bit of a bunt going. She has gigantic cans. <laughs> yes. I'll give her that. But her head, her neck. You know what? It's, You're going to piss off big. Danny and me. She has a big neck, but then a little tiny head. Her head looks fine. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, Danny and, I are, Danny and I are all over that. I, I just can't get over the, like, her head, they're ridiculous. Her hips are ridiculous. Like, you could tell just by looking at her that she's got giant hands, and because like, each one is just as big as her head. Oh, yeah. Bigger. That body was made for sex. And then her hips come out further. If they're as big as her head, they could be A cups. <laughs> <laughs> she's got kind of a Kardashian hip thing yes, going definitely. on. definitely. Kardashian. I, I have a thing for her anyway. Kardashian. So is hotter, but this girl's all right, man. She we, was we Miss Connecticut. You know, because of us, she was the number one Google trend yesterday. Did see that. And we didn't even, like, Google bomb her. Just everybody wanted to see pictures. She's hot, man. I, need to it see depends what she's wearing. On. Today, she's not yeah, wearing today, a flattering yeah, dress. Not really. Yesterday was perfect, though, because she was wearing, like, this red, like, this, like, just sexy red dress. Yeah, like, and then, yeah. and then the, the news is showing, like, full body shots yeah, of her doing the traffic. Yeah. Like, who does that? Her head is a bit on the small side. And it's minuscule. <laughs> it's a bed bug head. <laughs> she has a person body and a bed bug head. <laughs> <laughs> Sinks her head under your skin and sucks your blood. It's terrible. Wait, you, you can't not notice that giant neck and little witty bitty head. <laughs> 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 witty bitty. <laughs> Uh, we're, we're taking pictures every day, and when we get a really good one, we'll finally post it everywhere. I, I'm not happy with today's uh, outfit she's wearing, Danny. Yeah, but because we got to like do our girl justice. I did send it to you because you could really see her her hip definition. She's it's fantastic. She's trying to hold down the boobs a little bit today. Yeah. Yesterday she wasn't. They were nice and heavy and and quite large, weighty, weighty, but in a good way. I'm actually very jealous of that picture. Oh, the, oh, oh twit pick. I've seen it before. It's a color shot of him and Kennison and OP6 and Kennison is uh, <laughs> still breathing. But that's a damn good picture. Well, Are what, you wearing a shirt with a pretzel on it? It's a sweater. Well, a sweater, sweater with a pretzel on it. Is that what you're well, wearing? A blue I, sweater with a pretzel? I uh, posted this picture yesterday knowing full well that the abuse would be brutal. <laughs> of course. And uh, for the people that think they you know, were getting away with something, I purposely cropped it so you could also see the horrendous jeans I'm wearing. You don't think oh. I could have cropped that better and just taken the uh, the sweater abuse? Damn, that's yeah, that's true. It's a Cosby sweater. I mean, when this picture was taken in the late '80s, I hate to I hate to tell you, 
But that sweater was happening. Is that a Van Heusen? Actually, I don't think the sweater was ever happening. I was a very poor, uh, uh, barely out of college uh, kid, and I, I wore whatever I could. Why did I? And that is the truth, him. huh? Well, why? Uh, I had yeah. better clothes. I'm just bummed that that day I chose to wear the Cosby looking. Someone said, "Does are are you wearing a sweater with the Star of David on it?" Uh, ah, yeah. <laughs> The sweater is horrendous, really and, Kin- is and Kinnison looks cool as hell. It's so distracting from the actual picture that, that it's like, wow, you're with Kinnison. But all I'm looking at is that horrid sweater. I know, <laughs> man. I know. I met him and Pryor and didn't get pictures with either one of them. Just got signatures. Mm. What a dope. I think, it, wow. I think to be a genius, you need to have a huge head. Because look at how big Kinnison's head is in that picture. He does have a big head. And then the Robert Plant picture I got, same thing. Massive head. What's up with the big head and, if, if and he being had, a genius? If he he had had kids with the uh, traffic girl. Be a normal, <laughs> beautiful size head. Absolutely. <laughs> she must be as dumb as a bag of rocks. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but I got the Kinnison picture up yesterday with the, the stonewashed jeans. Not only are they stonewashed jeans, they're not uh, blue jeans. They're a, uh, they're a black version. Yeah. They're black stonewashed jeans. Oh. Horrendous. And the sweater is just, I have no excuse. That's, that's the late 80s. I mean, like... I, could, I could tell you this much. I was making eight thousand dollars in radio at that point. Right, I was bucks. I was part time uh, pizza delivery guy for the uh, radio station. Basically, I was making no money, no money, and I didn't have a side job either. I was like as poor as poor gets. But I met Kinnison that day. That was awesome. But the Green Day picture was the day they were smoking pot and then destroyed the studio. Yeah, Remember yeah. that? And now they're mainstream, and you know. Well, you know, uh, I'd rather if I was a band have a huge amount of hits than have a f- small following that sure. uh, gets mad when you get a huge amount of hits. Yeah, you're 100 You're 100 percent right by the way. We all hate when our band goes mainstream, but you know what? They're all hoping for mainstream success. Of course they are. So, unless you're Kurt. What was that man. one? The last one. Oh, I just mean Wheaties. How old is that? Well, the one is uh, you know, uh, then and now basically. Can you zoom in on that, my love? My love, we're looking at an old picture of it's. It's like a photo of Open Wee's inside a photo of Open. It's like you guys are holding inside up inside a, a brandy snifter. Yeah. Well, no, I just uh, it was it was the same day of the Kinnison picture. I also took a the picture with one? Brother Wee's. Yeah, because I'm wearing the same awful oh sweater. My God. Oh my God! It's, it, that better be the same day. It really oh, is. Because I hope you threw that sweater away after you saw the picture. Dude, I'm so bummed that the. The the picture of Sam Kinison. I have the horrendous sweater. You look like Hillary Swank in that picture. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Great, thanks. Oh, Jesus Christ. And the, uh, the, the Weez one's a little farther away. I, you have this shocked look on when your I face. Was, when I was younger, I definitely had lesbian features, man. <laughs> <laughs> lesbian features. Absolutely. Who's that, his wife in the back? <laughs> no, that's uh, Chris Shire. She was like a she was like a Weez's partner back then. She went on to like do morning radio in every market in the country and she was one of those spokes uh people that went on tv and like sold stuff uh, oh, yeah? she did very well for herself go for her. i lost uh <laughs> track of her years ago but all right let's move on whatever wow. so i'm going through the boxes and just uh popping pictures up every day now that's uh that's pretty cool that's some old pictures man i'm being very uh choosy by the way because we i got some pictures all that are just not flattering for you or myself brutality (laughs) yeah dude you got to put the worst ones up the Uh, most horrendous ones all right i'll I'll do a few of those today those are the best there's nothing worse than old pictures where you look terrible dude i got a picture i'll put up today the abuse i'm gonna get horrendous i got like a stonewashed jean jacket on stonewashed jeans i got the big over the top risky business sunglasses on i thought i was cool man someone should have stonewashed your head <laughs> <laughs> why wait what <laughs> he's just throwing a rock at us just throwing rocks at your head yeah <laughs> what are you gonna do <laughs> you look like an idiot in old pictures <laughs> believe me i got plenty my mother oh. brought over the one the other day from uh an old rot gut gig. Oh, really? Where I'm just wearing a cowboy hat and underwear. Uh, really? Did, <laughs> yeah. Why, and why not? <laughs> did anybody go on stage wearing purple workout pants? Was I the only one that wore the baggy workout pants? Ooh. Yeah, I didn't go. Please. With, uh, please. I, I wore some crappy stuff. Book. <laughs> I, I never did that, though. What, what were they called? The, the Horrendous, dude. They were workout pants. Zuba, uh, what Zuba. Would, huh? Zuba. Yeah, I never did that. Oh, they were awful. I, I had my own awfulness, but I never went with that look. Well, Andy, did you post that picture? Uh, not yet. I People would love it. to yeah. see that. Oh, I'll, I'll definitely put that up. 
And I'm trying to share with my wife because these are boxes that, like I said, I haven't seen in a long time. Yeah. She's just laughing at every other picture. Of course. You got a mullet in this one. You got stonewashed jeans in this one. Look at the stupid Cosby sweater. Because she doesn't remember those days. Uh, <laughs> she was not the reaction I was, was hoping but, for. She was but a little babe. Uh, I was hoping for a nice reaction, like, "Wow, you did some cool stuff." Cool stuff in a pretzel shirt. Well, I met Sam Kinison though <laughs> in a pretzel shirt. <laughs> in a pretzel shirt. <laughs> he was thinking about that sweater when he just veered into oncoming traffic oh, on the way from sure. Vegas. <laughs> he couldn't get it out of his head. Yeah. He steered his car like a pretzel. <laughs> <laughs> There's only like one picture of you and I in the WBAB studio. Yeah. There's only a few at the WAF studios. And then there's tens of thousands in the WNEW studio. Yeah, that's when we really kind well, of decided. Uh... That's why it's kind of fun to find the, the older ones from like AAF, because those are like rare. Yeah. And you look exactly the same. Nah, I... Oh, gray. That's what it is. A little grayer, but the gray, the gray him. Because I look and I see, I see a lot of pictures of me with a goatee, and it's just like jet black. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I, I gotta like, get like Bobby Kelly and use the medicine. When he says you, I use the medicine. <laughs> yeah, you had a, you had a. How can I explain this? Your the the co your color black was black. Yeah. Does oh. that make sense? Yeah, it was like black. Jet black. It was like jet black, which yeah. you don't see often. Because most people that have black hair technically have dark, dark brown hair. Yeah. You know yeah. that, right? But with you, I think it was uh, officially black hair. It was black hair. Like jet black. Like midnight black. Black goatee. I found a picture. Like, I'm going through this box of pictures last night. <clears throat> I found a picture. I have no recollection of us doing this. Did, did you know that you and I... Mm -hmm. Were human bowling balls? What? Think about it. Wait a minute. I, I Think about it. I block these things out many times. <clears throat> I'm, like, I'm looking at these pictures going, oh, wow, what happened next? We did the douche uh, douchiest of douche, douche radio bits. Oh. We were human bowling balls in <laughs> Faneuil Hall. Do you remember this? I have completely blocked this out. Do you have a, rec a recollection? Like, when I, f when I saw the pictures, I'm like, oh, my God. Then it all came to me. But if someone would have uh, talked to me only a mere 24 hours ago, I would have said, there's no effing way that Anthony and I were human bowling balls. Dude, I have absolutely no recollection of this. That's why I'm bringing it up. And do you know it was some kind of Comedy Central thing? Comedy Central came to town. I guess they needed shock jocks. I don't know. Were we hypnotized to do this? Because, <laughs> first of all, I can't imagine we did it. Well, although back then. Uh, well, no. Then I, I just don't. I don't remember. What did it entail? It entailed. It was a, uh, a huge, huge bowling ball. It barely looked like a bowling ball. It was a, it was a sphere. A big sphere. That you sat in and you got harnessed into. Nice. There's no way we did this. And then we were rolled down a ramp into bowling pins that were human size. No way. I, no way. <laughs> yes. I defy you to show me a picture of me strapped in this device. Well, well, my friend, you just blew up my Twitter because later on today... <laughs> Because I, I, I didn't want to put it up last night. I was Am like... I brain damaged? Dude, I when I saw it, I couldn't believe it. I, I, got, the, I got the chills of the douche variety. I'm like, oh, maybe I should just rip these pictures up. No one will ever know. I would have remembered that. And it was a huge crowd. And I, the crowd wasn't there for us. There's no way, because we just started in Boston. <laughs> the crowd couldn't have been there no, for cause us. Because I'm looking at the crowd, and they're obviously there for something else, and we just happen to be there. I mean, we'll be honest. You know, we we we've, we've drawn huge crowds over the years, but this one wasn't ours. Wasn't ours. No way. Okay. We were just like, you know, they might have had they might have had TV cameras there or something. I am trying so hard. I'm racking that's why I'm my bringing it up because I know you're not going to remember this. Strapped. We were str like individually strapped in a sphere mm -hmm. and then rolled down a ramp. Yeah. At Faneuil Hall into bowling pins. Yeah. And I got. 
And 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 we we're broadcasting. Was, was it near the the front, like where we usually stop a cab at Faneuil Hall to get out? Was it like right there? It was right in the middle. It was in the middle. Okay, see, so right I, in the I middle where that right. where they don't have uh, you know cars or or any of that. Look, I I, <laughs> I swear to you, this is not ringing a bell whatsoever. I think it was one of our first like months up there. So we were just happy to be there. So whatever this radio station said we would do, because we had no leverage. Oh, yeah. No, no. I know that. That's what happens in radio. You, you know, every radio guy has to do crazy stuff until yeah. you get a little leverage, and then you tell them to go F themselves. And let me tell you something. I genuinely was happy to be there. And, and I, like, when they'd come up with those gags, I'd be like, all right. Yeah, this sounds great. Because, uh -huh. you know, it's I, I didn't have to get up and, and do construction. So yeah. I was happy. Happy to do those things, but I, I swear to you, I would have remembered something like that because I'd have been like, I gotta like. You were definitely I might in it. throw up or something. The picture of you, it's not as obvious that it's you in there, but I could tell. Yeah, we've been around a long time. Well, because I have other pictures where it's the same like shirt you have on. Yeah, yeah. Don't, so I can't really see your face in the picture I got, unfortunately. Oh, the one I, one of me, though. Oh, boy. It's you. Oh, yeah. With a microphone. I'm just ready to broadcast as I roll down this ramp. I, I can't. <laughs> I, I can't. <laughs> I'm trying so hard. Was it was it warm out or cold? Was it winter or summer? I, I think it was like spring. spring. I think we were only there a month, maybe. Maybe In two there months. A month. It was, so it was, it was after we got back from L.A.? Pro yeah. Yeah, and then we, and then we, we were oh yeah, because we got short bowling, sleeves bowling, on and stuff. Bowling, bo boy, I cannot wait to see these pictures because you know they're not the greatest, but I'll I'll I'll, I'll put them up. I didn't yeah, I, a blurry Bigfoot picture, just uh, something to jog my memory. What I should have done was just brought in the whole box today for you. Yeah, to check out. I found some stuff yesterday. I'm like, what? Wow. Yeah. All right. I, I figured I'd bring that up today for you. Human bowling ball. You and I did human bowling ball. That's the exact type of radio bit we would beat the crap out of anybody for doing. You know what? You got to bring um, bring the whole box of pictures in, and we'll get some uh, you know some scrub. That's what I call the intern scrubs. Yeah. Uh, to uh, scan them into my uh, computer, I'll bring my little scanner in. Yeah. And just so I have have those online. Yeah. Because uh, I. I guess I need to run through it and and just go ah! <laughs> as all the memories come back, and I, I curl in the fetal position with a nosebleed because <laughs> brand new memories are coming into my head. <laughs> and the looks on our faces—it looks like we were really, uh, really into it too. Like, oh, all wow. right, come on, guys. We were good at faking that. No, I don't think we were faking because we had no I, leverage. I know we had no leverage. We had to do what we had to do. You got to do a little Love sacrificing. It. Loved doing it, didn't we? I remember the, the, the golf ball thing. I can't find those pictures. That's the ones I want to find. Yeah, where we stood I'll in the middle them. of a driving range with uh, hockey gear on and yeah. frying pans yeah. in front of our groin area, to yeah. duct tape there, and uh, we let people just tee off yeah, that was, uh, at us. That wasn't a hack bit. That was and that bit, that bit was copied by so many radio shows after we did it because it, cause it made yeah. one of the radio trade magazines which is the kiss of death. It was always the kiss of death for us. Then everyone does it. Well, there's R&R uh, &R and FMQB. If you get your picture in there doing some amazing radio, something no one else has ever done, yeah. great. Next thing you know, a month or two later, it's completely blurred because every other radio show in America does the bit. You notice that just doesn't happen anymore? That's like a dead thing in radio. Well, it's just doing like crazy the, stuff? Yeah, the crazy stuff that mm -hmm. made the papers mm -hmm. and Things like that. Now it's pretty much just this guy said something stupid and he's getting fired. That's the only radio thing you've read about in recent years. Right. Now it's, you know, it, it, that that part of it is just dead. Remember the golf ball stunt, though? Yeah. It was, that, was that was scary. Was was Remember fun, getting hit? Though. We were well padded, but when you get hit by a golf ball after someone hits it with a driver. Oh, yeah. And we were only 100 and uh, we were between 100 and 125 yards but out. 125 I, I yards out. Something like that. Yeah, it. Uh, you felt it. It was, I mean, what was even scarier was the golf balls that were just missing you just whizzing by your head. Yeah. Yeah, those were creepy because you, when you got hit, you knew you had padding on. 
because right. you felt the golf ball hit, but it didn't give you that pain like you didn't have padding on. Right. When it whizzed by your head, you got that feeling like when you were on the golf course and someone like teed off. Oh yeah. And uh, and it whizzed by your ear, and you realize, oh, that could have cracked my skull open. <laughs> yeah. And when and when you got hit, you wanted to just start screaming bloody murder. Yeah. And then realize, oh, all right. You're, you're well protected, but just the thud it makes. And the clang that that one made when it hit right off my frying pan. Because <laughs> uh, I, I was thinking, I could wear a cup, but I'm thinking a Hell cup no. isn't strong enough. And if you get hit in the side of the thigh and the cup moves over, it's going to hurt anyway. So I just took a frying pan, a giant black frying pan, and duct taped it uh, right over my groin area. Yeah. And uh, one hit, it was a direct hit, and you just heard like a Bong! It was like a, a Chinese gong sound. Yeah, uh, where I would have just been. We both had gone. the. We both had the frying pans. I think yeah. you came up with that, which was a great idea. We we were dressed like hockey goalies for the most yeah. part. But yeah, I found uh, I found I, I haven't found those pictures. I'll, I'll find them though. These are boxes that I've had in my basement in Huntington for like off and on for ten years. Before that, it was in a basement up in Boston. Before that, it was in my mom's house. These boxes haven't been opened and. It's like t- it's like time capsules. We're listeners pushing us down the ramp as no, bowling no, balls. No. How are we being propelled? I I, I think the, like the Comedy Central people. I, I'm not sure if it was filmed or it was where it was another failed pilot attempt that, that we were part of. Yes. How many of those have we done over the years? Uh, quite a few failed ones. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> Where they don't even acknowledge that we did anything for them. That's always that's always a pleasure. Thank you, Comedy Central. I'm trying to remember this. I don't. Re- I would have remembered being strapped into something like that. Well, remind someone. Remind me. I'll bring all these pictures in tomorrow. You got to. All right. Holy crap! Look what you found. Send that immediately. Who oh found my that? God. Oh, the, the King Danny. No, no, that was Travis. No, Travis. Travis found that. Give me that picture. We were just talking about the uh, the stunt wow. we did where we were dressed as goalies with frying pans on our crotches. Look at that. You can see Anthony's frying pan. And, of course, he has to. Uh, that's you guys? Yeah. yeah. And, of course, Anthony has to. Uh, has to put on another song. Yeah. Is today the day I kick this? Every day we got to talk about the same crap? Come on. It's really? just become part of the show now, I think. I think people accept it as part of the show. <laughs> anyway. Uh, wow, look at that. Yeah, we're dressed as goalies, goalie pads, goalie mask, everything, and then frying oh. pans on our crotches. I, c- I forgot, could we put enough bumper stickers on ourselves so so we can, you know, they well, know what station we're well, from when we, we made the trade magazines? We knew we were going to be in the trades, so, you know, make sure you sell the radio station. Why is your frying pan much bigger than my <laughs> frying pan? <laughs> <laughs> Look, I've hinted over the years that I, I do uh, quite well in in that area, but yeah. uh, this picture certainly doesn't show that. I had, I had to fit my eggs and sausage in that frying pan. Oh, my God. <laughs> what, what do I got? A little freaking, like, saucer? Yeah. <laughs> Ant's got this massive frying pan. I know I was... I had some kind of frying pan a, down there. You got a cupcake tin. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> uh, and that's uh, the bit where we... Or getting hit by golf balls at a golf range. Know what the bit was? Do you remember what that was? Uh, was yes. T- take a shot at ONA. Because we take shots we at take everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> are, I found, uh, here's another picture from the same event. Yeah. That uh, somebody just linked on Pal Talk. And for real? Yeah, it's us with, I guess, the recipient of the charity money. Because this was for charity. Yeah. So there's some guy and his mom... Some guy that was a tragic story, and some other guy. Yeah, well, I, can't, I don't remember the tragic story either. Yeah, but uh, we're covered, dude. We taped huge <laughs> AAF banners around us. We could not sell the station enough, and these bastards just hung us out to dry. We were good soldiers. Yeah, we were like, we were like Maximus. Yeah, in Gladiator, just good soldiers, a fine general. And then we just got thrown into into uh, a slavery. Oh yeah! <laughs> wow, that's cool. Such that, good guys for the station. That's the picture I've been trying to find. Send that over to me. I'm gonna I'm gonna tweak the crap out of that. Wow! Once again, OP Radio on Twitter. We're all about social networking now. Finally. So what do you think? That guy's dead now. Oh, 
Whoever we did the charity for. No, I think it was for, um, what was he? You know, I'm, what was he, retarded? No, you know, I'm Rain Man. I think, uh, I think that was the family. Yeah. Of the father. Oh, the father. Who had a horrendous demise. And I don't oh. remember what the demise was. Oh, so he was... The, you're kidding. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. You found a picture of the Afro wall? What what website is this? Wow. Thing? This is really old school yeah, stuff. Yeah, I don't know. I never saw this site before. It's it's opiant.com, which mm. I'm sure they've, they've just dumped out of. And where's, yeah. and, and where's the part where they trash us because... You know, oh, I'm sure there's some trashing going on there, but... Wow, that is amazing. Yeah, there was, uh, wow. 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 Yeah, because Anthony had a huge afro. We decided to make an afro wall. Every every picture we could find of someone with an afro, we put up on this wall. Shh. All right. Amazing. That's so weird. There you go, though. There's the, uh, there, are the, there are the pictures of us dressed up to get hit by golf balls. That was Bruce Mittman's idea. You know, boys, you take a lot of shots at everybody, and, uh, you know, you can humanize yourself by allowing the listeners to take shots at you. Yes, boys, why don't you do that? <laughs> it's always a good way of uh, making sure that you stay with the people. Yeah, you, you yeah. turn it around a little bit, boys. Famous Afro wall. Look at the Afro wall. I, I make the Afro wall a couple of times. Mm -hmm. And actually, uh, uh, strangely enough, that picture... It's in the upper right-hand corner of the Afro wall yeah. of uh, me. Mm -hmm. um, is from my Suffolk County pistol license. Oh, really? That I had to uh, forfeit as when I came up to Boston because it was no longer um, you know, legit to right. have. Uh, but, yeah, that one, complete looking like a, a terrorist. That one's good. I have a big Afro. And then we have, you know, Frank Zappa, Michael Jackson in the old days, um, Oscar Gamble. A lot of Afros. O.J. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Michael Jackson, Jerry yeah, yeah. Garcia, just uh, Bob Ross, I see up there. And and if you do, you remember how the Afro wall met its demise? <laughs> well, I think we threw a fire extinguisher through it. Uh, it was a giant tombstone. Oh, the tombstone! Oh, yeah, 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 somebody yeah. decided to bring this big granite tombstone for, yeah. for some reason. And one day, I don't know why, we just started throwing things through the wall. This wasn't, <laughs> hey, the station's moving, let's just trash the place. We decided to just throw heavy things through the wall. Bowling balls. We would heave them across the room into the walls because when they stuck in the wall, we would laugh. <laughs> How did we not get fired for that one? Because they were all scared of us, We man. wrecked the joint. We put giant holes in the wall with granite and bowling balls. I would assume that Dave pissed us off, so we said, you know, F you. Now we just screw it. You know, just like uh, they they did in uh, what Compton and all that during the L.A. riots. You got to wow. ruin, you ruin your own stuff. So we were mad, so we had to ruin our own stuff. Amazing. Yeah. Phew. I forgot about the tombstone. Oh yeah, there was a huge hole right through the Afro wall. Yeah, we just and we. I was laughing so hard I couldn't breathe because it was to me it was so funny to be trashing the <laughs> studio for no reason and know that like someone's gonna see this. <laughs> How many people get the chance to like destroy their workplace? Their workplace, knowing without permission, but knowing that you're going to be there the next day with, without a doubt in your mind in your head <laughs> oh, without gosh. a doubt you knew you were going to be there the next day yeah most people uh don't get that opportunity <laughs> Danny, send those pics i got i got to send that out to everybody on twitter that's a good one man i'm having fun with the twitter and, and finding this old stuff so